Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about uh, breaking the edge of a hole that uh, is along a curved surface. So basically you get this oblong compound uh, curve here and how how to do this. Now, uh, in the past I've shown videos where you know you extend surfaces and offset geometry and it's it's more of a manual process but we do have a solution for this that works um, really quite easily. It's in our advanced surfacing package where you get our seven uh, surface based strategies to uh, machine geometry like this. So let's go ahead and get started take a look at uh, how that works. Uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, set up a job here and then I'm going to select this solid model as my stock geometry and then I'm going to set my zero position. Okay. So from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this chamfer. So I'm going to do solid fillet chamfer 0.005 and we'll go ahead and break this edge. Okay, so this is this is the chamfer that we're after. All right, so we'll get into the cam side of the software. We'll go to mill uh, multi-axis. Uh, here we'll find our surface-based strategies. The one that I'm going to use in this example is morph between two surfaces. We'll go ahead and advance through this. I'm going to use a quarter-inch ball mill and uh, going to go ahead and advance. Okay, so first surface, I'm going to pick this surface here. Second surface, I'm going to pick this surface here. Drive surface, this is going to be the chamfer itself. So I'll go ahead and select that. All right, now um, we need to change the area here. What we're going to do is determine uh, de determined by number of cuts and we're going to make this one cut and what that will do is give us a tool path in the middle of our drive surface. Uh, other than that this is a three axis output and we'll go ahead and compute that and uh, here you can see we have our curved surface. Uh, we probably would want to do a lead in as well but let's go ahead and simulate it so we can see what we're getting. Uh, this uh, particular method for compound curves, I mean, you could uh, you could also use this to do undercutting, back chamfers. I mean, there's a lot of different um, different scenarios where this uh, particular strategy comes in pretty handy. But here you can see it just came down and was able to put that uh, uh, chamfer to break the edge of that hole. So uh, using the advanced surfacing package. Um, uh, you'll have these seven additional surface-based strategies. Uh, you can use them in three and four axis. You need four axis pro in order to get uh, these strategies. Uh, these strategies will output in three axis cutting, uh, four axis cutting, or, or if you go to five axis pro, then they'll, they'll output in five axis cutting. So uh, just a quick walkthrough on how to do a 3D chamfer. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, if you like the video, let's get a thumbs up. And if there's any comments, you can always comment below. Uh, Till uh, the next video, hope you have a great day. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye now.